Hi everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back to all of you new. Hello and welcome. So I have an important topic to talk about today or issue or thing. Um, I have some adorable little babies for you to look at while we chat. So real quick, I'm going to introduce you. Um, so over here the, in the car seat here, this is Elliot. Elliot is the Stanley Oliver sculpt by Chenza Dolls, and he is a reborn baby that was actually reborn by me. I'm very new at um, reborning, and he was the third baby that I created. But I am so, as you many of you know, I am oh so in love with this baby i'm so smitten with him i absolutely love um the way that he turned out with his little personality and stuff and he is a uh baby that is sculpted to represent uh down syndrome baby so i really love that too he's a really special little guy with a smile that just brightens the room <laughs> And then, of course, many of you know Oscar, and Oscar is one of my full-bodied silicone babies. Um, he is the Dwayne Awake Number 2 by Claire Taylor Dolls. Um, so he's a full um, silicone baby. He's not a reborn baby. He's a full silicone baby doll, all squishy. He's anatomically correct um and he's got all the bells and wish whistles the drinking wet the squishy tummy he even has a spine and he is poured in claire's um special blend of silicone uh for her that's for her addition babies so there's only five of this sculpt worldwide so there is Oscar. He's looking so cute and so uh, fresh and comfortable and summery. This is a little kimono um, side tie, just um, lightweight muslim. Uh, one piece, one onesie, I guess. <laughs> um, and it's just, I don't know, it's just so nice for summer. So I'm going to jump right into it, um, but make sure if you're not subscribed, go now and smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. My channel does have a membership, and I'll talk about that a little later if I have time, but there's always a link in the description down below, as well as a link if you'd like to follow me on Instagram to see pictures of all the babies in my collection. All right, so the scammers have stepped it up and taken things to a whole new level and this is something that's kind of i think it's been happening a bit uh over the past few days more and more collectors as well as artists are coming forward saying yes this has happened to them too um and this is <coughs> about you buyers being aware so on my community wall you can pop over and look i put some screenshots of what i'm about to talk about of examples of what i'm about to talk about um so the scammers are um well we always knew that they opened up you know fake pages fake websites um well i mean i guess they're real pages but they're fake accounts um they're not real people or who they say they are they're certainly not real businesses uh and they would steal photos um personally i have it done to myself so frequently um people will be you know sending me saying you know tasha a picture of you know oscar is you know up for sale or you know, many of my other babies, um, it happens with Oscar a lot. It's recently happened with Bindi, one of my other full body silicones. 
it just happens all the time. They are out there. They are all over the place. And usually I'll go and look and not only where, will there be fo stolen photos of my dolls, but of other collectors' dolls that I recognize as well, other collectors' pictures. So, of course, we know they've been at that for years. Um, I think last year sometime I posted on my wall and I made you all aware that they had stolen a photo of Oscar and they photoshopped a safety picture on the stolen photo. So it made it look like they had the doll and they had the safety picture um, on there. So real scary stuff, folks. Uh, I get often people will say, oh, well, can't you just watermark your photos? And yes, I can. But, um, number one, they remove the watermarks with a simple app. And number two, it does take quite a bit of time to, you know, watermark. So, uh, I do watermark my, the photos of the babies now that I've created. I put a watermark on them, but that's just for that reason, you know, and nothing else. Um, but yeah, it takes a lot of time and is if it's pointless because they can they just remove watermarks um so now recently past couple days they have put up stolen a photo of me um in the one there's a photo of me holding um a Liam that I had, um, I think it was like two years ago. I have my I Love My Haters t-shirt on and I'm holding the, the Liam, you know, like on my hip. Um, little blonde haired Liam. And they're using that as their profile picture. They took, stole a photo of my preemie silicone baby Athena and used that as their cover photo. This was on Facebook. Um, they opened up under a business name, Reborn Gifts. And throughout the page, they have pictures of mostly silicone dolls, or I guess a mix of both. Um, but they have silicone babies on there saying this baby is being poured. It'll be available in the next couple days. You know, this doll is available. So they have a whole page full of available dolls. I mean, they're obviously really not available. They're stolen photos, but this is what the links people are going to. Um, and, uh, well, like Michelle made a video um, over at Shelby. I shared that on my wall. You can go and listen to her video. Um, this also happened to her. They used her, you know, one of her profile photos and used it as their profile photo. Uh, they had used their name. Then they took that off. Then they used the photo. And... Then I found out what's even the most disturbing is that uh, one of them has, one or more of them have taken photos of my family, photos of me and my kids at my parents' house on the holidays, stole them right off of Instagram and are posting them on their walls on these fake accounts that are using me as their profile picture. So they're trying to build a profile to lure people in to believing that that's me, I'm assuming. Um, they don't use my name in combination with the photo. I think that these, these scammers are probably a lot of them are professional at it. I don't think that they're, I think that they're overseas I think like, you know, the catfish people and stuff that are in, I don't know, sitting in Nigeria or wherever in a cubicle and they've ju they're just scamming people all day long. I think that some of these sites are more like that. Uh, you can see in their wording of things that 
English is probably not their first language. And although they're picking, putting photos and picking up on things like pouring this silicone doll or whatever, but if you actually spoke to them, you know, uh, messaged with them, um, any collector that's been here you know, even a short time is going to realize that they're not using the same lingo. They don't, they don't even know what they're selling. Um, here's the, th the thing, folks, that's super, super important. This is the only way for you all to protect yourselves as buyers and especially newbies. You need to do your research. You need to do your homework. You need to know who you're buying from, what you're buying, and you need to be able to verify without a doubt that who you're buying from is actually who they are supposed to be. Um... That, that's really, that's the bottom line. That That's the bottom line. Um, because the collectors and artists that this is happening to, that they're having their photos stolen, they're having their identities stolen, they're being violated in such a way, they're having their family photos, you know, all these things are very, very disturbing. But the, I mean, the, stealing photos of our dolls I mean this happens every day all day long I used to report them I used to make a big stink about it and it's just I would be at it all day every day if I, it, it, I can't keep up nobody can keep up with them um so in this instance with the stealing the personal photo and and um imper like impersonating me yes I reported it to Facebook they didn't do a darn thing about it um Facebook just completely ignores any reports it's really really unfortunate Instagram I had in the past had luck if I did report a photo that was stolen and usually I mean the photo my photos would get stolen all the time and people would like pretend to you know say they had the doll like just showing off type of thing or um it's just like a fan page thing admiration page whatever not just of me I mean just like a cute reborn babies or whatever um and uh, you know, that stuff, whatever. But when I saw someone using the photos to scam to claim they had my doll for sale, I would report it. Instagram um, does take it seriously. They do follow through. They send you an email. They allow you to provide um, links um, if they need extra information or anything. They email you. And I have had, they have removed um you know, po not only posts, but even accounts um, that I have uh, reported. So at least there's that, but I can't catch them all. Um, <laughs> and of course, they are all over the place. They're Facebook. They open up websites. I'm sure that some of these places pay to push their websites in Google because it's what you see come up. Even on YouTube, you'll see ads for reborn dolls and stuff. A lot of those are fake. A lot of those are scam sites. Um, so I would say that they're probably making, you know, good money doing this. It's so important to, you know, learn, you know, who the sculptors are, who the artists are, um, you know, be in the hobby, pay attention, learn who other collectors are, you know, um, but, you know, most importantly, you really want to, you know, have an understanding of, um, you know, the sculpts and the artists, and you want to know who you're dealing with, period. A safety picture isn't going to keep you safe, asking them to take, you know, 
write something specific, you know, they Photoshop, they get creative, they do all, do and say all kinds of things. And right off the bat, if they're posting pictures of, say, someone that maybe you would recognize and now you're, it's not clicking, you're just seeing the photos and you're thinking, oh yeah, I know that person's on YouTube, I know who they are, they're, they're a real person, they're legitimate, and meanwhile, it's not even me or whoever's photo it is that you're talking to. Um, you know, you can come on to my YouTube. You can follow me on Instagram. Facebook, I'm on there, but I'm not active on there. I don't post often. I don't spend much time there. I opened the Dolly account so that I could follow certain artists or correspond with certain artists and businesses that just didn't have Instagram. Um, but Instagram is really, you know, where I'm at and where I'm active at. Um, so, and as I say from time to time, I don't accept DMs or PMs and private messages. Um, I haven't been doing that for a long, long time. Uh, you know, due to the volume that comes in, uh, is part and party to that. But there's many, many reasons. It is the internet. You know, just because you see someone in a hobby doesn't, you know, it's you, strangers online, you know, it really, really, truly is. Um, but I mean, again, that's not real. It's just, I guess at this point, I feel like, well, it's helpful that I'm able to say that, like, hey, if you think you're talking to me and I don't know who you are, you, you're not talking to me. It's not really me, you know, that type of thing, um, you know, and, and understand that really the responsibility falls on the buyer. You would not go... I mean, these dolls can be thousands of dollars. Um, they usually are, you know, or in the upper hundreds to thousands of dollars. I, you know, you it's like buying a car, like Michelle was saying. You wouldn't go and buy to buy a secondhand car from someone you don't know and not look into it the first thing you do would be to check the blue book value of the car you don't want to be getting charged hundreds or thousands of dollars more for a car you know that or if the car is grossly underpriced from the blue book value then a be an alarm bell might go off like why is this person selling a car for you know, a, a tiny fraction of what this car should cost. That's the real, you know, thing where if, you know, have an understanding, pop on the, um, you know, doll suppliers and look at the reborn doll kits and see what just a blank kit costs alone. You know, you know, just what hair costs just what eyes cost, you know, and if you're looking at something that's going to look very, very realistic, look of very, you know, good craftsmanship, you know, you're looking at glass eyes, you're looking at expensive mohair, you're looking at a skilled artist painting, it's, it's gonna be up there. Uh, the silicone dolls, you know, it's, you're not going to get a $10,000 doll for 500 bucks or 2000 bucks or whatever it is that that day that they're saying that they have the doll and, you know, selling it for. So if, if you have an understanding of the costs, because not always, but more often than not, what these scammers do will is they will they will put up fake prices for you so, to or you know that's how they get your money um because they're showing you something that in reality was thousands upon thousands of dollars and they're selling it for a couple hundred dollars you know or something that's 
tens of thousands of dollars that they're selling for a couple thousand dollars. That's what's, you know, so that's the first red flag right there. Think of it as if you were going to buy a vehicle. You would bring your mechanic. You would be looking under the hood. You would be looking into certain things. So it's the same thing here. You want to really know who you are buying from and know that they are either a reputable artist that you can verify that's in, you know, here in the hobby, in the community, or a reputable seller, collector, a secondhand seller. And you can you know, check references, you can look around, you can look for transparency um, is really, really important. It's nice when you can find folks that are very like, you know, out on YouTube, you know, you know, on Facebook, on Instagram, um, you know, or do doing videos somewhere where you can physically see them as a person but of course not everybody does that um but that's when you want to dig a little deeper and ask for more references until you hit on a reference of someone that you can actually verify that they are an actual person here in the community I hope I'm making sense to you all. Um, and, you know, then you're, you're protected. Um, you know, and the saying goes, if it's too good to be true, then it is. You know, you, it's part of it is just using your noggin, going with your gut. But I, you know, we all see that these, um, these, scammers are just they are getting so creative you know they saw we told people ask for safety pics so they started photoshopping safety pictures it's like you know every I feel like every warning that we put out and give they then wiggle their way around that and they get very um clever because they're making a lot of money off this these dolls you know um, look and feel like real babies. They tug at our heartstrings. You know, there's people that, you know, just want them so bad um, that, you, you know, they're being led by their heart and, you know, they want it to be true so bad that it's, I think that that you know part of what happens um so you have to be you know you have to be careful and you really really have to do your homework and know um who you're dealing with as for all of you that have now had your you know identity in some way stolen where you know they've used your family's photos your you know personal photos and not just your dolls um it's extremely disturbing it's extremely um violating um and yes in you know it, it it's just it's it's like near impossible to catch these people because they're online they're you know um as i said earlier it they you know a lot of them probably are not within the country that you're in um you know they're somewhere way overseas uh and they just you know one one gets shut down or you know run out or whatever and you know they just pop up under a different name and you know pop up three more you know they're if they can just you know click make an account scam someone you know, uh, one day out of 500 bucks or 200 bucks and sh th that gets shut down and the next day do another one and scam someone out of another 500 bucks or 2000 bucks or whatever, you know, um, I think they had Oscar up for something like 2200 or just some ridiculously, you, you know, 
low price that you know if you're at if you ask the, the what's the artist claire Ta you know you, then you can go and look at what her edition dolls cost you know so that's what um what they're doing um so ugh, i lost my train of thought but yeah as for all of us that are having you know that issue of a violation i feel awful for everyone i certainly know how it feels i feel violated i feel afraid to post you know certainly any pictures of my kids of my family and it's a shame because it's like we you want to share you you want to share with everyone but it's like oh my goodness um you know, I know some of you have went and now, you know, locked down your accounts and and um, made them private um, and things like that. And I feel bad. It's a shame. Um, I won't do that. I'm not going to be driven underground by these um, people. And, you know, I know it's you as an assume a, a risk when you're choosing to... Um, you know, post publicly on social media, um, there's always a chance that your photos can get stolen and, you know, um, it happens all the time. Um, it's just a shame that it's happening because dishonest people are looking to take advantage and scam, um, you know, people that uh, may they may be new or not quite, you know, um, know what they're looking at. So do your homework, folks, um, you know, and, and don't, you certainly can't blame the, uh, the collectors and the artists that, uh, are having the, um, their, their identity or their baby's photos, um, stolen because um we are victims just the same as you are victims um and you know like i said it's just become impossible to keep up so the best thing that we can do is educate everyone and educate everyone on this is the newest this is the latest this is what's happening so now you need to be aware and um know that if you're looking to make a purchase that the person that you're purchasing from is really actually um the person that you're purpose uh purchasing from and i can't stress enough how important doing your research is um you know one thing i recommend um if you're new to the hobby there's nothing wrong with um you know starting out with you know a company doll like uh, ashton drake or paradise galleries and you know this way you're not getting scammed you can enjoy you know having a doll and stick around and be in the hobby and start learning sculpts and artists and all that um good stuff or you know um there's there's many 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 um you know reputable artists out there um that are good but that are selling on the lower end of the price range but that you can still verify who they are um so you know just doing some some research and 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 some homework is the most important thing big little guy i love this smiling face so so much and i just i just love how he came out it was he would came out exactly like my little um vision of him i love his hair he has susan nagel hair which is my favorite it's so soft it can be styled in so many different ways and oh my goodness do i just really really adore this little guy i'm so thrilled with him and of course we have my love over here oscar
So anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing the babies. Um, if you learned something from this or enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, and also my channel membership, we're called the Pixie Squad. It's $1.99 a month, all inclusive. You can cancel that at any time. You must be 18 years or older to join, but for literally the price of a cup of coffee a month, come on in because there's tons of more information in there and discussions that we have uh that's where i do my exclusive live screen streams there's exclusive content and i have been sharing my entire new journey in reborning uh kind of behind the scenes inside my membership so i've actually was working on a baby all night i started another baby and i'll be updating my members on what baby i decided to start with this time and so yeah we have a lot of fun in there so um come on and check it out you won't be disappointed all right everyone until next time god bless